Two car. Thank you. you What's want, your name? You want? Uh, they call me Doc Brown, right they here. Call me Doc Brown. Yeah. Uh, right here in Times Square. Yes. So, you uh, made this as a replica of the movie car. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, I, I would regard it as an upgrade to the replica. How is it an upgrade? It's uh, a lot more attractive. A lot more what? Attractive. Yeah? That's what I like to do, attract people's attention with this um, showpiece I have, and hopefully they'll um, jump in, take some photographs, and uh, go home happy. Is this like a passion project for you? Pretty much, yes. Yeah? yeah it's, uh, it's just How long did it take you to get the car to its current shape? About six years working on it. Six so years? Still, still working on it. So it. It'll never be done. I'll always be upgrading it, making it more interesting. And how did you find the DeLorean to begin with? Difficult to do, and I was fortunate that I had the uh, premonition 20 years ago to buy it. Uh, it, it was affordable and uh, attainable at that time. Wouldn't be able, I wouldn't be able to do it now. Yeah. What uh, else? So I had collector's a, items now, right? Yeah, yeah, a rare collector's item. You can get your hands on a reasonably good DeLorean now at a reasonable price. Jump on it. It's a good investment. What's a reasonable price today? Forty thousand. Forty thousand bucks for just the, the car. Yeah, a, a, uh, a working DeLorean. Yeah. A working DeLorean. Forty thousand up, upwards. Do you drive this on a regular basis? Every day. So it's like a daily driver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's my. Uh, this is my. Uh, this is my baby. Nobody else does what I do. Uh, this is difficult. Uh, but I do it, and I'm getting more and more used to it as time goes by. More and more used to people dealing with people, especially people that are not so friendly to me. Why would people not be friendly to you? Because people are people. They can be either drunk or nasty or something. So, you know, so I've learned how to deal with that as well. How do you deal with it? Um, um, how do I deal with, with people that are nasty? Uh, just. Um, Try and send them on their way, yeah, and just remain calm at all times, uh, because they got nothing to lose. I got everything to lose. That's it says more about them than it does about you, anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They got nothing to lose, and I said I have everything to lose. So. What's the worst thing that's happened to somebody like that? Oh, nothing really. Uh, I've, I've, I've defused many situations. Oh, good. Uh, uh, pretty much with dialogue. Yes, I'd make a great politician. <laughs> you gonna run for office? I never answer the question I'm asked. Perfect. I always ask to answer a different question and uh, di uh, divert, I think, and uh, move on to something else. Not, don't let it escalate. Won't do any good. Definitely won't do me any good. Uh, I don't have time for that. Do you have anything to do with the Broadway show at all? No, absolutely not. No. They're doing great work up there. I've met the cast and all, and they're really nice, good people. Um, uh, they show me a lot of respect when I drive by and stuff like that. Oh, yeah, yeah. And they come by and they stop by and they say hello. Yes, yes. Uh, really good people. This this franchise, this Back to the Future franchise, is a is a positive thing. Um, it's uh, non-violent. Really non-sexual. Ah, for my pants. None of that stuff in it. Anyone can watch the movie, and um, it, 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 people, it puts people in a better place in these troubled times where we have lots of troubles and you know, trying to afford our houses, pay credit card bills and all that business. Uh, this brings a little um, relaxation and reality to people, the way, the way maybe life should be. Not so stressed out. Not uh, worried about this, worried about that, worried about the other thing. We're creatures of worry anyway. But um, I think we should learn maybe just sit back and reevaluate life and see what life is all about. You're never going to get the answer to life, what life is all about. Like the great Mark Twain said um, uh, the two greatest days in your life is the day that you were born, and the second greatest day in your life is the day you realize when you were born. Uh, I don't think many people will ever realize why they were born and why they're here. Or are they here for a reason at all? We do have a short time here. Uh, we do get upset over too much. We do make too many enemies. 
we can't take this this wealth with us. Uh, we can make more and more money, but we can't take it with us. Uh, the future is it, maybe it's predetermined, but uh, we plan as if we're going to live forever. The only other advice I would give to, especially any young people listeners, is live your life at the age you're at. Don't wait to do things when you get old. You can't do them. Um, you, you can't be a 50-year-old. You can't be a 50-year-old trying to be a 20-year-old. It just won't work. <laughs> it's not the same. You can try, but you're on your own, pretty much. And anyone that's with you is a hypocrite. How old are you? Yeah, that's a secret. Um, but um, again, age, um, I don't have like a specific cut off when I should do this or should do that. I feel good, thank God. I'm healthy. Uh, I have a lot to do. I have a lot to give back. America has been good to me uh, and I have been good to America. I've worked hard in construction all my life. We've done a lot. Um, uh, I worked for a reasonable rate wage. I worked hard. I, I never missed work. And, um, but it enabled me to work and to uh, to uh, gain some um, fortune, let's put it that way. I'm not a rich man, but I do want to give back. I want to give to someone that never had a chance, not to someone that had a chance and messed it up. How do you do that? Uh, you really have to leave America to do that. Yes, I'm sorry to say. Yes, if you're in America, you really have opportunity here. If you really want to knock it down, I don't care who you are. You know, black or white or whatever, you know, there's, there's, there's lots of great people of all races. The opportunity is here uh, if you need it. The opportunity. Uh, equal opportunity? Yes. Equality of outcome? No. You won't get equality of outcome in your own home, much less get it in general society. Uh, the great Tom Sowell uh, from uh, Yale University told me that. Uh, he, he listened to people that's making sense in the room. Yeah. And uh, uh, follow your mind. Uh, choose a path. Have the confidence in yourself to follow it through, even though you will be, people will, uh, they will say, you know, you can't do this, you shouldn't be doing this. You believe in yourself. And uh, have a strategy and see it through. Don't let people, you have an, an individual mind that was given to you by whomever, why ever, but it's your mind, it's greater than you think. And don't be afraid to think. So uh, with that I say, God bless, and uh, good fortune, and I'll see you in the future. Thank you so much. It would be cool if I put this on my YouTube channel? Yes, yes, of course, yes. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, is there a name for this? Do you have any kind of social media or anything like that that I could tell people to uh, no. check you out? No, um, again, I'm not looking for fame. I I'm out here because I have something to offer that makes people uh, go home happy. That's what I'm here for, to make people happy and uh, maybe do something for Times Square. I think Times Square needs a little bit of a, a lift, a little so bit of a kick. My yeah. whole YouTube channel is called What Is It About You? I just look for people that are interesting, that might have something interesting to tell me. i got to say, you're worth more than the 10 bucks that I donated for you tonight. Thank you so much for talking to me. Yes, I'll put that 10 bucks to good work. Don't you worry. Awesome. I have a plan for that $10. And it's not going into my pocket. I appreciate that. And you're cool if I uh, sit in the DeLorean and take some pictures? Yes, of course. Great. Thank Be you my so guest. much. Yes. Yeah. Anyone who wants to come, come here and see me, 46th Street and 7th Avenue. I'll, be, I'll receive you with welcome. Are you here like daily? Every day. Every day. Mm -hmm. if, it's raining, if it's raining, not here. Yeah, yeah good call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, man.